All right, here we are in Bailey, Colorado, and this is the original town. Um, from what I understand, Mark, Martin's giving us a tour. So we'll listen to what Martin says. There's a, oh, wow, there's an old wagon right there. The ice company. From the ice, what? It's yeah. the ice company. So this, my ice carver friends, my ice carver aficionados, check that out. On the other side this is how we got our ice way back in the day. On the other side Aren't of the you? boat, they would go out into the, the lake on to cut these sheets of ice to bring it back down to Denver. And then oh. they'd load it up in the wagons and pull it down. One Wait. lake would give you 30 okay, acres of ice. Okay, let's get a little here. Yeah. If I go over here yeah, and yeah. get a little better view of the... Uh... Wow, that's really cool. Look at the ice picks on the wall back there. and That's pretty neat. Bailey, Colorado is one of the most, um, just the coolest, I, I don't know, it's just cool. It's a very amazing little town, a surprise out of nowhere, I'll tell you what. And it's, it's nice to be traveling around during a, well, what seems to be a, quote, pandemic and a uh, big movement and all kinds of stuff that seems to be sent out there to give a crazy message to people to stand up and fight for I don't know what but here in Bailey Colorado there are a lot of peaceful heartwarming amazing people from all walks of life all just enjoying their time here on planet earth and I think that's exactly what everyone needs to focus on you know get rid of your troubles face your fears Face all the stuff that's inside you and take a look around. Go out into nature. Enjoy this stuff. I mean, it's... Um, if I were to look at the news right now, I'd be panicking. But if you just stay away from that little black box, life outside of it is wonderful. There are so many things to discover. So many new places to see. And here we are. Yes. Built by William and Ann Bailey. It's the first building here. They were traveling back and forth from Shawnee for fishing, ice, lumber. And this was built as like a midway point in 1864. Wow. And that's how the town of Bailey became Bailey. William and Ann Bailey. That <laughs> that's was, really cool. This was for underprivileged children. This was for underprivileged children? Oh, wow. It's called the Wren. It's really pretty right now. I can't really... I'm hoping that... Maybe it's here. You want to pick up? Yeah, there's the inside of the Wren. In there. Come over here and grab a little snapshot of this, uh, this lovely thing here. All right. Is it a lot? No. <laughs> when I was a kid, you could. I just filmed the upstairs. Is there another window on the side? Can I sneak a peek over here? Uh, we certainly can. Look at that. We can sneak over here. That's because my name is C Black Sneak Attack. All right, look at that. What's in there? There's a little notebook. Do um, you still have the beds in there? Yep, there's beds. Yeah. Um, I can't really... Focusing on. Oh my gosh, it's so tiny. How does ten? How do ten boys fit in there? You have to stack them up a little bit. Might be a little uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? We got the backyard here. A little picnic table. Oh, this place is just—it's absolutely beautiful. And um, yeah, I'll turn it around. No, I didn't do that. I didn't turn it around because I'm still figuring out how to take videos and stuff. All right. Well, we'll pause this now. Okay, this one is the schoolhouse. And it's not open and stuff, but we can run over here and see what they did in school. Okay. 
In this school, they play with dolls. And they found gold, it looks like. There's a gold, gold digger book right there. So in this school, they learned about how to dig for gold and play with dolls. Okay, pause. All right, here's the window where they learn how to look at wood. Wood. No, I'm just kidding. There's more dolls back there. This is so cool. I'm just, I'm just having fun with you guys. This is really neat. Yeah, it's really cool. It's, it's they've so got the, you know, like they've got the. Uh, yeah, they've got the mannequin. The, the teachers mannequin up there. teachers. Yeah. yeah. There we go. I'm calling them dolls. <laughs> I said in this school, people learn how to play with dolls and dig Bring for gold. Back to the bathroom. What? We go to the bathroom here. now. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna get personal now. <laughs> no way. So, it's blocked <laughs> off from the coronavirus. But um, normally, <laughs> right now, you just have to use all these leaves and stuff but <laughs> there we go that's cool it's even got a little window right there yeah. so you can it's look in there and say oh that's you Bob in there I knew it smelled familiar familiar and this is a little bridge and then there's the train there's a really beautiful little red caboose it's a red caboose no way no way they actually had them See all the things you learn about when you get outside your door and don't listen to the little black box that says, the world's on fire. Everybody get up and run. Fire the people who protect us. Don't let them work because we uh, just want to do what we want to do and not have any rules. We're going to make our own rules. Yeah, that makes a whole lot of freaking sense. Come on, people. I mean, yes, poli police have done things wrong. Every race of people have done things wrong, but here we are in the most beautiful place in the world, enjoying nature and coming together. That's what life is all about. Enjoying all of this. And learning to get along. All of us. Learning to be close to family, and be close to people, and to share these treasures and these beautiful things in life. All right, and then kaboom, bop, pow. We're back on the other side of the, this small, the little town of Bailey. It's McGraw Memorial Park that we're at right now. And oh my gosh, I love Colorado. Check out that mountain over there and look at those rocks. Like, what was that? Who was that? From what I've been learning about mud fossils and um, all of the uh, truths behind what really lies beneath our feet, this place must be a spectacular something. One of these days I'd like to do paintings. What really, what real history is.